All weekend at the True Bank Des Moines Challenge presented by DGEA, we have been talking about one infamous person, that being the weatherman. Well, maybe we were talking about the wrong one all along. Welcome to Tournament Central. Grant Zellner, alongside your FPO victor, Emily Weatherman, a victor by three in this Des Moines Challenge in the 2024 edition. And let's not bury the lead here, Emily, your first Disc Golf Pro Tour victory. What are the emotions coursing through you right now? Um, I don't really have many right now. I'm not there yet. Um, I, I said uh, I thought I was going to cry the first time that this happened, and I'm not crying. I'm sure I'll cry later. But... Um, I'm just just happy, you know. I'm just feeling feeling really proud of myself. You jumped out there on day number one in front of the crowds on a featured car, shot two under par. You followed that up with back to back eight under par efforts. I want to ask you first how you made that adjustment. Was there a conscious adjustment, or or did you simply get even more comfortable over the weekend? Um, I think I just got more comfortable, and uh, there was less wind definitely um, Saturday and today. So there's that, um, and I fixed my putting. I, I didn't putt very well the first day, but I feel like today and yesterday my putting yeah. was really solid. Let me get this spider off of you right oh, here so you. that we can continue oh, there's talking. Another there's another one. All kinds oh, of creatures no. out here and all kinds of things going on out there on the course today. I want to ask you how aware of all of that you were because you were playing from a chase card, and you had the roars of the crowd echoing across the course behind you. How aware were you of scores as the round progressed? Um, so I didn't look at scores until hole 16 on the tee box. Or maybe maybe it was 15. No, I think it was 16. Um, just to see kind of what I had to do on the last couple holes. Because, you know, 17 and 18, they're, they're pretty difficult holes. And I knew that getting par, um, I would probably be okay. But I wanted to just push my limits and, and guarantee a win. I want to tell you, I was following your card. You may have seen me there sort of lurking in the shadows behind you at least three or four separate times during the, the last couple of holes. I said to myself as you stepped up to throw, this throw could be the tournament. Now, I, I may have known things that you didn't at the time, but that tee shot on 17, the approach on 17, and the putt on 17 were three of those instances all within about, I don't know, three or four realistic minutes of each other. Tell us about how you were dealing with the pressure at that time. Um, I felt like I dealt with the pressure really well. I was just, um, I'm sure some people saw I was taking deep breaths uh, and just saying positive words to myself, whether it was in my head or actually like out loud being like, you know, you can do this. We're getting a look right now at the 17th. This is the putt from on the island. One of the longest putts you can have on that very small island. Are you the kind of putter that typically the moment it leaves your hand, you know if it's a good stroke or not? Uh, Yeah, yeah, I am. Uh, But I don't like to celebrate too early. So I wait until it gets down in the ba the basket normally. You stepped to the 18th and had to wait. And, and really, there weren't too many terrible backups over the course of today. But on 18, there was. And you had to stand there for a little while. Uh, you were fully aware at this time what you needed to do on the 18th? Yeah. Um, yeah, I needed to, you know, take a par. I'm pretty sure I needed a par. But I was like... I'm just going to stick to my game plan. My game plan was to do those two exact shots and to see if I can make a putt, and I did. After you came off of the green on 18, there was a pretty large number of players waiting for you. Some of those players having finished quite a while ago that lingered long enough to make sure they were present to congratulate you. Emily, you haven't been on tour that long. Talk about the camaraderie and the building of relationships and just the community here on the Disc Golf Pro Tour. The community is so freaking good. I I love a lot of these girls out here. Um, I'm so thankful that they stuck around to congratulate me. It makes me feel like so good. And I'm glad to have all these friendships. What's next for you? I mean, you've you've just hit a career moment, a life mm -hmm. moment uh, in many respects. What's your mindset now and what's up for you over the next course of the month or so? Uh, so after this, I'm going back home and then I'll be back for Ledgestone. I'm actually on the wait list right now, so I'm probably going to have to do a Monday qualifier. But, you know, we'll see. Um, 
so that's going to be my next event and as far as my mindset goes i'm sticking with the same mindset i had this doesn't this doesn't really change anything in that kind of aspect uh just you know play my game play smooth and i just have a little bit more confidence i was going to say confidence though a factor because now you know it works yes and you can build on that moving forward mm -hmm. Well, best of luck to you in the weeks to come, and congratulations on a phenomenal weekend here in Thank Des Moines. You.